right, January 2nd, 2015. Happy after New Year, everybody. Uh, here we are. It's January again. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So, what happened this week besides New Year's Eve and all of that good finally wrapping up the holiday stuff is two. We released two releases this last week, uh, both on the street where you live. Uh, a con sort of a continuation of the previous lesson getting into some of the things that are going on uh, with Nate as far as getting down into chess voice or starting in mix and popping down in chess voice and coming back up and that was a great lesson but the really cool lesson I think the one that I had a lot of fun doing was the last lesson which is uh, sort of wraps up the song it doesn't wrap up everything on the lesson plan I'm gonna explain that in a minute but but it does wrap up the whole analyzation of the song and it's a 25 minute clip that gets into Nate's style of jazz scat singing and if you have any interest at all in jazz scat singing that lesson by itself is a great lesson now if you don't have any interest in jazz scat singing and you're on the website let me tell you why you should I learned years ago let me say this right originally when I was first studying music and looking for vocal instructors one of the things that I always wanted to knew how wanted to learn more about was gospel singing, uh, uh, R&B licks and patterns and those types of things. I always wanted to know what that style of singing was all about, and I was always looking for a teacher who could teach me that type of thing. But it's in truth, it wasn't until I started to learn how to jazz scat sing that I learned way more about how to be an R&B singer. And the reason why is if you take jazz scat lines which are sort of broken up with syllables and then you move them from the jazz scat syllables into more legato patterns suddenly you start to sound like it's a completely different style yet it's the same notes what am I talking about if I say if I say um, ba -da 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 -da, ba -da 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 -da, dee da dee do do that's more like scat singing, ba ba do and be right. But if I just take that and start to go, yeah, ba da da da, yeah, suddenly it takes on a whole different style of what's going on. It's the same notes. One's staccatoish and one's legatoish. That's the only difference. What you're going to do with the tone, stylistically, where you're going to place it has something to do with everything, of course. But truly just getting into the scat notes. So this is a weird concept, but this is how it works in my mind. I think of jazz scat lines as number one to two to three to four to five to paint a little picture about stops and goes. And I think of R&B lines as following that exact same trail, but in a legato-ish way. Uh, and as soon as you start to put it on like one word and turn it into melismas, which incidentally one of the new things that's going to happen here in 2015 is that soon you're going to see me starting a course of melismas, which is all about licks and lines and embellishments and all styles, as many styles as I can come up with, uh, to show you how you can take the same notes and think the same scales, but just by changing how you approach it, like I'm talking about right now, you can turn it into all kinds of different patterns and uh, different stylistic thoughts. So that's coming uh, here in 2015 as well as all of the other things that uh, I'm working on. I'm working on the uh, Harmony course, uh, still haven't gotten all of the Tony Lindsay stuff out yet, I'll be doing some more Nate stuff, you're going to be seeing some things from Bobby Kimball, the singer of Toto, uh, there's uh, a lot coming. And the reason why I like to keep starting these things and continue to work on them is I don't want to bore anybody here on the site. I think if I just get on onto one course, for example, and I only work on that course, which I've done in the past, to get it all finished, well then it's sort of beca we could become a one-trick pony as far as the new information that's coming up. There's all kinds of things on the site for you to check out, but but 
you get what I'm saying. If I sort of start a lot of different courses and continue to work on them simultaneously, for you guys that are on the site, you're getting information in different directions. So anyway, that's my concept. That's what I'm doing, in case you're wondering why I start this and I start that and I work on this and so forth. Plus, for me, it really gives me a chance to really think about things, working in my studio with my private students, doing things with them and getting an idea from maybe even what just happened in a lesson with the student who had a problem. So I, I really think it makes for better information in the long run that finally when I get all of this logged on the website is going to be great information. Now another course that hasn't come out uh, that I will be also starting besides the Melisma course is a sight singing course teaching you how to sight say, sing uh, music for those that are interested in that. And uh, there are plenty of people who need to know that at, at varying levels. So be expecting to see that, as well as the continuation always of me bringing new singers on, on board, uh, singing different styles, different types of music, uh, harmony singers, uh, famous singers. Uh, that's what's going on. So that's what's happening here and starting to happen here in 2015. Now as to the musical tip, I guess I could have called what I just explained to you about jazz cat singing and R&B singing a musical tip, because it was, but uh, I still continue on working on previous musical tips that we've been working on. I've been talking to you so much all the time about chest and mix and how to start to bring different ideas and thoughts like two note uh, upper and lower neighbors, descending patterns. Well here's another one for you. I, this is another one that I love to do that helps me work things out. I will take a major scale. Oh, I'll just go up to five, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just go to five for the moment. Oh, and take it on up. Oh, then I start to think of it in thirds like, oh. Again, I'm working on my and as I'm doing that, I'm also vocalizing through my mix. Now I can take that same pattern, this is an interval in thirds, which incidentally understanding more about thirds helps you understand way more about harmony. And I can start that pattern in different places in my range. Oh, 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 go from chest, 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 mix, 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 Take various different consonant sounds, put them in front of various different vowel sounds, and vocalize with thirds up and down. That is another great tip. And you can do it in different chords. Like I was doing a major scale, we could do a minor scale, dominant seventh scale, but I think I'll save that for future tips so I don't just throw a bunch of stuff and overwhelm you here. So what I'm asking you today in the musical tip is to vocalize by singing thirds to the major scale Oh, 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 that's up an octave. Maybe go up an octave, come down in thirds. Oh, 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 oh. You get the idea. Hey, it's simple, it's fun, it's good for your voice. You're internalizing the sounds of harmonies and moving along the scale, getting your head more together while you're getting your instrument together simultaneously. So that is your musical tip of the week. Okay, YouTube people, YouTubers, 2015, if you haven't checked out the website, come on over. Even if you have before, it's growing, constantly growing, and more and more great content is happening with lots of great singers. So. 
It's the place to come. I'll run down quickly all the courses we have that are already up. We've got a beginning, intermediate, advanced voice course, a course that teaches vibrato, an ear training course, a harmony singing course, a jazz scat singing course. We have this little thing called fly on the wall videos, which is uh, my camera's on in my studio while I'm teaching private students who, who are gracious enough to let me have the cameras on while they're having their lesson. And all the goofs and the different things that are happening in the lessons is just all there. It's like being a fly on the wall, checking out somebody's private lesson and what's ever happening in that lesson is what that particular fly on the wall video is about. So that's, that, that in itself is such a fun, interesting thing just to hang out and watch those things. I think anybody would find that uh, incredibly interesting if they're interested in singing and the whole topic that we're doing around here. Now besides that, hundreds of songs with breakdowns with great singers. I take wonderful singers, they sing in their style, I videotape them and then I turn those wonderful songs that they sing into lessons and show you how they're doing the things that they're doing. And that is always interesting. So, there's so much here. Also, you can sign up for a free membership. You don't even have to start off by getting full access to the site. You can just sign up for a free membership, get lots of lessons, and surf around the site and check out all kinds of things. So, with that said, welcome to 2015. Uh, I look forward to bringing you wonderful content this year and to continue to make the website grow. So. TotallyVocals.com. Happy 2015.